What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys some more ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are showcasing the Generation 3 Firestarter. We got ourselves a Speed Boost Blaziken team for ranked Regulation Age. Now, when it comes to Blaziken, this Pokemon is super fast and it hits like an absolute truck. It has speed boost as its ability, so at the end of every single turn, this thing is going to go plus one in speed, basically making it outspeed pretty much any Pokemon. On top of that, it's got the Focus Ash as it's a frail Pokemon, and it's rocking the Stellar Terror type with close combat, Flutter Blitz coaching to actually boost other ally Pokemon's attack and defense, and last but not least, it has Protect because obviously you cannot have speed boost without Protect. They just go hand in hand. They go hand in hand. So Blaziken is going to be absolutely amazing on the physical attacking side and able to be more of a support Pokemon with coaching. Going to be a lot of fun. Cannot wait to use it. Speaking of supporting, we got ourselves Evo Light Electric Buzz. It's got Follow Me. It's got Thunderbolt. It's got Taunt. It's got Protect. So it can do some damage. It protect Blaziken. Protect Ally Pokemon. Really, really powerful. Our final four Pokemon on today's team features King Gambit, Rillaboom, Dragapult, and Primarina. Primarina is a nice big time special attacker on today's team. It's got Haze to deal with like Don Dozos or other Pokemon that want to set up. And it also has Hyper Voice and Moonblast. Obviously, they're its best two stab moves in the game. Rillaboom doing Rillaboom things. King, King Gambit there with Defiant to deal with Incineroar. And then our final Pokemon is that Dragapult. And not just any Dragapult, it's a choice band Dragapult. Doing crazy amounts of damage. We pair it up next to Blaziken. Coach it up, make it do even more damage from there. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing the Speed Boost Blaziken team. Before we hop into our first match, you guys should definitely go check out my brand new video on what is the best competitive rain Pokemon. I just made it a couple days ago, so if you guys want to go check it out, definitely go check it out. It's a Wolfie style video. Huge shout out to him for inspiration, and it's edited really well. So if you guys want to check out brand new content on the channel, I highly recommend checking out that video. It's actually a really good video. So if you guys want to see like a ranking slash top 10 video, head on over to my channel. Go check it out. But we're hopping into our first match. We're going up against Torkoal and Dragonite, or I should say Torkoal and Hisuian. Logan. Really strong combo right there. On top of that, they got Hisui and Braviary, and then they got uh, Indeedee and Hatterbeam. So, pretty strong team. I mean, they could just go straight in the Trick Room. That is definitely a possibility. I mean, if they want to go into that combo right there, I mean, I could just go into, like, King Gambit. What's your Terror type? You do have a Fire Terror type, which is really good with the Assault Vest, so I kind of want to go into that. I feel like that has got to be my play. Could go into a Fake Out user as well. I think I'd rather bring Rolboom in the uh, late game. What is my play here? I think I just go these two. I think I just get cooking with those two. We'll go roll boom, and last but not least, we'll bring Choice Man Dragapult. I think that's our best option here. But, I mean, if they go Hisuian, Loganth, and Torkoal, I mean, we have a fire type, and then we get to Frost Slice King Gambit in the fire type, and that can work pretty well. But, but on the other hand, if they want to go in DD Hatterene, I mean, I can just swap, take out Terrain, get a speed boost, or maybe just stay in there with King Gambit because it is a dark type against two psychic types so i feel as this leads like pretty solid for us we're trying to just cover all bases here but they're gonna end up leading logan and torko okay that's fine by me i could end up protecting king gambit or not king gambit please if i want to just get some more speed going that might be my play but i definitely want to thrasilize you and i have to launch like a kowtow cleave or something do i even attack i think into this torko because i can't really deal with the eruption too well right Eruption is just a problem. Eruption is just a problem. So I'm going to end up just protecting you. And going after this tool. Logan's scary though. Do I attack Logan in instead? It's definitely sashed. I think I'd rather get off some damage on the Torkoal. Like, Eruption just does too much damage. It really does. So I'm just going to end up protecting the Blaziken here. I'm going to Terrasalize the King Gambit. It does have the Assault Vest, which is really good. Going to help us soak up some shots here. And we're kind of hoping this is just after you Eruption, right? And I feel like nobody has ever said that. I hope it's Eruption. Like, dude, Eruption does so much damage. But yeah, I kind of hope it's Eruption rather than like a Sleep Powder coming out from Logan. Just be a problem. So I'm going to end up protecting Blaziken. Look at to get that speed boost. Sleep Powder is going to launch into the Blaziken slot. So this is actually pretty good for us. We might actually be able to outspeed this Logan now. I really hope so. Kowtow Cleave going to launch. How much damage are we doing? Solid damage. Are you going for Eruption? You're going to go for Heat Wave instead. The Heat Wave is going to fly. No big deal. I mean... You should be able to soak this decently well, King Gambit. Yeah, cool. So we soak it decently well. We get our speed boost play. And now we're ready to roll. Um, hmm. 
Might just want to start attacking the Logan here. Logan is a scary customer. Yeah, I'm going to go for the Flare Blitz in this slot. Do we outspeed it now? I doubt it. I mean, Chlorophyll's doubling that thing's speed. We're only plus one. Probably a Sleep Powder coming out here again. I should have swapped in a Roll Boom. I should have swapped in a Roll Boom. Maybe this might work out. I totally forgot we had Roll Boom in the back end, but I should have swapped in Roll Boom. But at the same time, if I swap in a Roll Boom, Heat Wave just takes us out, and I'd rather save a Roll Boom. So, yeah, honestly, not swapping in the Roll Boom is definitely a better play. He's going to go for a Sleep Powder. We get to dodge. <laughs> we get to dodge. How you like me now, baby? How you like me now? How do you like me now? That's actually a big time dodge. So we're going to double down in the little gift here, which is actually pretty big for us. We're just going to get rid of it. We're not going to deal with it anymore. I will take a decent amount of recoil damage, and Iron Head is going to take you out. So are you going for another Heat Wave? I really hope that Blaze King can soak it. I know my King Gambit soaking it, no problem, but I mean, Torkoal just does so much damage. Can Blaze can dodge this too? King Gambit dodges. Blaze can soak this. You do soak this. Okay, so a little bit of RNG on our side. Speed boost plays can here. I mean, I can flare blitz whoever I want down, or I can kind of just like double down into this Torkoal, depending on who they go into, right? It's going to be Indeedy. Okay, I don't mind if they go for follow me. I could Kowtow Klee that slot and close combat the other one. Probably in our best interest. But my plan here is to kind of just like take out a Pokemon and then hope to. And then just take out like terrain next turn. Which is definitely in our best interest. So I'm going to close combat this thing down. Close combat's going to launch. Great damage. Bring you down to red. My defense is going to drop, but I was, I'm dead next shot anyway. And Kowtow Cleave, honestly, you had the berry. I was going to say, honestly, should take this thing out. But of course, he's rocking the berry. Going to help him out tremendously. And the Cobra Berry doing work. So Trick Room probably going to pop here. Um, I think from here, we could just swap into... I think my, 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 my best play here is to swap into Rillaboom and then Sucker Punch. I mean, I can, I can Sucker Punch this turn if I want to. But I think just going in like Dragapult and swapping is better because we kind of force their hand. Hmm. Yeah, by going Dragapult here, like if I go Rillaboom right now, they're just going to swap to Ndidi, which we don't want. We, we want to take out Torkoal first. So they can't take out terrain. So by doing this, we kind of like make them think to not swap. So now I can go into Sucker Punch. I could take out Torkoal. I could swap into Roll Boom. So the Sucker Punch can actually go through because obviously Psychic Terrain's on the field. But yeah, that's kind of that's kind of my my uh my play right here. It's like get in their head. We can't really have them. Oh, they end up swapping Torkoal. This is not working well for us. This is not working well for us. Brady Yari's gonna come out here, but we are wasting some turns of Trick Room, which is pretty good. Our wasted some turns to trick room, and I can fake out next turn, which is pretty massive. Unless they swap Indeedy here, but I, I don't think they can, right? Yeah, they, they can only swap one Pokemon. So we set the terrain. Protect comes out from Indeedy. That's totally fine. I mean, this is good for us. And I can fake out the Braviary. I could fake out the Braviary. Or I could just like U-turn pivot. Because they might swap Indeedy here. I definitely just want to go into like a Kowtow Cleave here. And yeah, let's just fake out the Braviary just so it can't attack this turn. We're trying to waste out Trick Room turns more so than anything. They ends up withdrawing in DD. We will get rid of Torkoal. They will, they will get Terrain. And again, we're just trying, to, just trying to waste out these turns. We're legit just trying to waste out these turns. They end up just protecting. All right, that's fine. So they get Terrain back. Um, fake out going to go. It's going to get blocked. It's coming out to the wire here. Kowtow Cleave going to say Night Night. Um, and my play here is probably just to Kowtow Cleave this. Uh... Actually, what do I do here? Because do you have Expanded Force? How many turns left in this trick room? That's the real question. I might just Protect and Swap. Actually, you don't have Protect. King Gambit doesn't have Protect. That's my problem here. You could just be going for Expanded Force, which is a huge problem for me. How many turns left in Trick Room? Two. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the swap. I'm gonna go for the swap. Let's do it. Let's do it. Are you going for Expanded Force? That's a problem. Braviary Expanded Force. Wouldn't you think this thing's more of a physical attacker? I don't know. Let's see what it ends up doing. So we'll swap the Real Boom. King Gambit on the field. Looking to do some monstrous damage. 
we go into drag pull. I'm just scared of expanded force, right? That's just terrifying. Here comes the terror type. Here comes Braviary with the terror type. This is terrifying, man. Braviary with the terror type. Gonna go into straight psychic. Yeah, I think we might just lose this match. We might just lose this match. We should have swapped the Robin last turn instead of going for the fake out. Follow me comes out here. This looks like follow me expanded force. Not looking good for me. Countdown Cleave's gonna outspeed, which is really big. That's really big. Hold up. Just give me a chance here. Someone survived this. None of you guys are surviving this, but somebody. Somebody survived this. King Gambit survived it. Oh my lord. King Gambo survived it. King Gambo just survived this. Oh my lord. Hold up. My boy King Gambo. That assault vest. That AV coming in clutch, man. That AV coming in clutch. You did get a crit on my Dragon Bolt. But I mean, I'm fine with that RNG considering they missed a sleep powder earlier in the match. But from here, how many turns are left in Trick Room? One, right? One's totally fine. I mean, our best bet here is to just go for like a Sucker Punch and a Fake Out. So we're going to be doing that. Chance are you going to protect here anyway. But I can spam Sucker Punch. But it's crazy because this King Gambit is slower than this uh, Braviary. It is slower. So either way, we would have got, gotten rid of uh, Ndidi and we would have been in the same position that we are. But yeah, our play right now is just to fake out and Sucker Punch. There's Fake Out, and I think Sucker Punch wins this game, right? Night Night? Night Night. Wow, what a first match. Coming down to the wire, we got to use Blaziken really well. We have to see his Sumi and Braviari, and we ended up catching a victory. Moving on to match number two, and we got this video started off hot with Blaziken. We're 1 0, going up against Gengar, a, a fan favorite, a fan favorite of the ghost types, alongside with the Rollboom, Dragonite, Archaludon, and then they got King Gambo, just like us, alongside with Clefable. Okay, I like my Blaziken here. I definitely like my Blaziken. And I feel as if we lead Blaziken here, it's honestly solid. So we'll go Blaziken here for our lead. Um, we could honestly go into like a follow B user and start stacking up here, but I kind of want to go into like Dragapult here. I can maybe coach up Dragapult and get ripping. That could be awesome. I'm so about it. So I'm going to go Dragapult. I'm going to go Blaziken in the back end. We could use Rollboom. I kind of like King Gambit for low kick onto like Archer Leon. That could be nice. Yeah, plus we have like Sucker Punch to deal with Gengar. And then last but not least, we could go support with like Electabuzz, but honestly, like Rollboom or Primarina work just a tad bit better here. Hmm. I think we go Primarina. We got Haze. Yeah, I'm with I'm with Primarina. Haze and just the, the fairy type works well here as well. So I'm 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 liking it. I'm liking it a lot. But we're one and kicking some butt today. Looking to go two and Cannot wait. Super excited. Super excited. But yeah, if you guys checked out my brand new video on best competitive ring Pokemon, just know I got a couple more coming. We're actually working on best generation one Pokemon right now. Me, my video editor, and my thumbnail artist. So a huge shout out to them. And huge shout out to Wolfie for inspiring these videos. Um, Yeah, they're just a lot of fun. So I'm super excited to actually be doing this. Kind of like not changing my content, but uploading different types of content. So again, hopefully you guys do enjoy. If you guys haven't checked out that video yet, get on top of that. But Dragonite and Archeladon are going to come out here for a lead. Um, I could close combat. Honestly, I could just coach here. And what do I want to do here? I mean, E-Speed could fly here. And I could just protect here, but I think coaching is going to be the play here. I think we coach him and then we just launch Dragon Dodge. Because what can either of them do? I mean, they can hit me hard. But I still think this is our play. I'm going to go into... I'm going to go into Dragon Darts alongside with coaching here. Boost up my Dragon Pool. And kind of hope that one of them kind of protects. Yep, there's one. Beautiful. So one of them are going to protect. I think we take out Dragonite here, don't we? Yeah, it's going to be smart tracking, and we're going to pick up the KO, no problem. So I pick up the KO. I not only pick up the KO, but I'm going to be able to coach up this turn. So this is actually one of the best possible turns I could have in turn one. Get rid of him. Coaching's going to boost him up plus two. And then Blaziken is going to get a speed boost. So Dragapult is looking gnarly right now. <laughs> He's looking deadly. Choice ban plus one. Come on, man. He's ready to hit like an absolute truck. An absolute truck. So we thought it was close combating. I'll probably do it this turn. Depending on... They might even terrestrialize. Gengar comes out here. Like, yeah, I got to keep launching Dragon Darts. I'm choice into it. And close combat definitely going to be replaced. So I'm going to close combat you. And stick with my Dragon Darts. Let's do it. He could honestly go into like Fairy Terror. Which I wouldn't mind because then we would double down into uh, Gengar here. So it's a solid turn for us. 
Maybe I should have went in the stellar terror type with Blaziken here. Let's see how much damage this does. Close combat flies. One HP. So, oh, you got sturdy. That makes sense. But good thing. Good thing, guys. I got Dragon Darts flying. I got Dragon Darts flying. Later, Archeludon. Oh, wow. Gengar going down the Sash for that. Yo, you're hitting hard, man. That's only one Dragon Darts. Oh, you're going to curse body me? I'm going to have to swap Dragon Bolt now. That hurts the soul. Luckily, the second Dragon Darts flies, it gets rid of Arch. All right, cool. So I'm curse bodied on my choice move. And that is not looking good. Sludge Bomb is going to launch. And you're going to bring me down to my Focus Ash. Frail Pokemon on the field right now. Glass Cannons, I should say. Come on, man. Poison? On my Blazy? Not on my Blazy. <laughs> Yo, come on, man. A little bit of RNG. Payback from last match. I, I got lucky with some RNG missed sleep patterns and missed attacks. So, I can see this happening. I could go in the Primarina and just Hyper Voice away. I definitely have to swap uh, Dragapult here, though. That's my one problem. Yeah, I'm just going to go in the Primarina. I definitely have to swap Dragapult. So, King Gambit's going to come out here. I have to swap Dragapult because I'm cursed bodied. And honestly, I don't know if I'm just going to struggle here. I know, I'm able to swap. Oh my god, I hit battle on accident. I'm just going to struggle. I hit battle on accident. And it just, it just forces me to struggle. I went to swap Dragapult here. It's getting out of hand. It's getting out of hand. And now we're going to see a Terra type. Here we go. Here we go. Terra type coming out from King Gambo. You're going to go into... A little bit of dark action, and you're gonna go for Sucker Punch. So, like, Sucker Punch just chaos me. It's whatever. I want to swap him, but it happens. I still think we're fine if Sucker Punch comes out of here. Yeah, I mean, like, like we're gonna die here. Gengar can't really KO us, and then we pick up the KO onto him. That, that's fine. We're fine. We're chilling. We still have Terror Type as well. Here's Sludge Bomb. Sludgy Bomb. Yeah, we soaked that. Cool. Thank you. Dude, what is up with these poisons, man? What is up with these poisons? Got my berry. I knew I was bulky enough to soak that, so that's good. So we soaked that. Hyper Voice now connects by by Gengar. King Gambit gonna take some damage. And now we got one more Pokemon left. I really hit battle and struggled. So Primarina down to 58 HP. And um, honestly, a Moonblast KOs, which is good news. A Moonblast will KO. He could go for Sucker Punch, but I mean... Are you going to Sucker Punch my Primarina? Do I even Thrash Slides? I don't think so. I like my King Gambit typing here. I'm just going to launch a Moonblast, and on top of that, we're just going to go for a low kick here. The one that's Thrash Slides pre? What do you got? You got Steel. I mean, what's the point? There's really no point. Might as well keep your Water Fairy typing. We're going to do that, and then we're just going to go for a low kick. Actually, Iron Head probably does more damage. Let's do that. Let's see how this plays out here. Moonblast can launch. That's just going to be GG's, right? Thanks for playing. They didn't even try a Sucker Punch in the Primarina slot down. So, even though I struggled out and died out with my Dragapult, we still ended up picking up the W. Now we're sitting 2-0. Let's go hop to our third and final. Moving on to our third and final match. Looking for a perfect record. Going up against my boy Paloops and Basque Legion. A little bit of rain squad going on here with Archeludon, King Gambit, and then they got Incineroar and Amoogus. Now... I like my King Gambit. I brought him into that last battle to deal with, you know, Arch Ludon. But Blaze can kind of tore it up and did it on its own. But now we got a little bit of a different situation here where it's like they got Rain kind of screwing over uh, Blaziken. So Blaziken might have to just be like a back end Pokemon because I do like its fighting typing, but I don't like its fire typing here, right? Because fighting's going to be super effective onto not only the Incineroar, but the Arch Ludon and King Gambit. But then its fire kind of get, gets neutralized out by the Rain. So. I like Blaziken as a late game Pokemon. I kind of like Electabuzz here if they want to lead Rain, so I am going to go Electabuzz. And do I just go King Gambit just in case they want to lead Incineroar? Get that Defiant Pop? I get down. So we'll go King Gambit, we will go Electabuzz, we will go Blaziken, and last but not least, we will go Dragapult. Just a fast, heavy hitter. You can't go wrong with it, especially in like as a late game situation. So, Dragapult, you're my boy. You're my dog. That's my dog. And that's my dog. That's my dog. Yeah, I like Dragon Pool. Um, so we're 2 0. Looking to go 3 0. I don't know. This one's going to be tough because I feel like Rain Squads specifically are just like an absolute bear in Regulation H, right? It's like, dude, Rain Squads are just like super superior, especially Arch Ludon on the field. 
just a superior Pokemon. It's just tough to kind of deal with. But they end up going Pelipper and Archie, which is okay by me. I mean, I can low kick here, which I actually really like. So I'm going to low kick this Archiludon. And do I go for Follow Me or do I just Thunderbolt here? I think we just Thunderbolt when we look to uh, pick up a KO. So low kick into Thunderbolt. And we'll just start attacking. They could Terrasilize. They could swap Pelipper, seeing him on the field, just to save rain for later, which would be honestly kind of smart. Let's just see what they end up doing. Thunderbolt's just going to lay into this thing. So four times super effective. Sash. Focus Sash. Paralyze. No Paralyze. Okay. Because I think Paralyze comes out before Focus Sash. Weather Ball launches. Now, how much damage is Weather Ball doing? That's the real question. It's good damage right there. Body Press going to launch. Oh, man. Luckily, we're able to soak that. That is scary. Low Kick flying now as well. Low Kick does some nice damage. You stamina boost it. Yeah, we're going to deal with stamina boost it. Gonna have to deal with that. Um, I could follow me. I could just protect here. I'm kind of upset that you outspeed me. Honestly, we should just do this. We should just do a follow me play. And just sucker punch you. Let's get rid of Pelipper. Let's get rid of Pelipper. Because most likely they want to go for the same thing. Most likely they just want to go for Weather Ball into a, uh, a body press. So I think this could be good for us. Yeah. The Pelipper gone. I do have static. This this could be nice because if we could paralyze this Archer on, that could be really good for us. Body press gonna launch. We end up soaking that. Give me static. No, no static. Really hurts so I really wanted static there. Alright. Let's see their next Pokemon. It could be Bashka Legion. It is gonna be Bashka Legion, and they're gonna Terrastalize here. I feel like after seeing Sucker Punch, you have to Terrastalize. So, I'm going to go for another follow me. Um, do I go for the Sucker Punch or do I hard swap? I could honestly. Oh, man. I was going to say, we could honestly just swap you. No, we're going to do this. We're going to go Thunderbolt here. This is what we're going to do. We're going to go... We're going to Thunderbolt here. We're going to swap King Gambit and save it. I think they go for maybe a water move into Electabuzz. And then they, I think they got to stick with the body press through the uh, through the King Gambit. Because there's no way they're just sitting on the field here with Bash Legion. They got to Thrasilize. They got to protect it. Something's got to happen. Yeah, okay, cool. So I was going to say, they can't, just, they can't just stay on the field here and just, and just see a Sucker Punch fly through. So he's going to go straight water. Please don't go after my Dragapult. I'd rather have my Dragapult. Maybe I should just went for follow me. I know Wave Crash gonna fly. We're saying go, go after Electabuzz, please. Okay, cool. So yeah, you do end up going after Electabuzz. Electabuzz dies out. Body Press gonna fly here. We are gonna be able to bring out Blaziken, which is huge now. Blaziken with the Focus Ash is pretty big. Body Press launches. All right. I, I kind of like where we're sitting here. I kind of like where we're sitting here because I got the Focus Ash. I got the Sash. I got the Sash. I could honestly just protect this turn. But I think we gotta play it smart and just attack Archer Ludon. I mean, they could swap. Who could their final Pokemon be? Incineroar, maybe? King Gambit? I mean, dude, our best bet is just to throw close combat in this slot. So I'm gonna go close combat. And I'm gonna launch a Dragon Darts. Let's see. There's the Wave Crash. Go after Blaze Takes Take some mean recoil here. Take some mean recoil. Thank you very much. Focus Sash up. That's what we'd like to see. And we'll get speed boost here as well. There's that. You will take some mean recoil. I kind of wish that close combat came out here first. Because then both Dragon Darts would go after Basket Legion. But only one does. So we do get... We, we are going to KO Arch on. Actually, I mean, you're plus two. Can I still KO you? I think so. Yeah, awesome. Dope. All right, so Arch Ludon gone. My defense dropped. Um... Hmm. How many turns left in rain? That's the real question. That's the one question where I'm sitting at. It's like, how many turns are left in rain? Because the Moongus is going to come out of here. Oh, Moongus. You buttery biscuit. How many turns are left in rain? We kind of need to know this. We need to know this. One. Okay. Um. Go in here now. It's definitely our play. And sacrifice an Hour King Gambit is definitely our play. Just so we get Dragapult back out here. Because once Dragapult can outspeed, I mean, Dragon Darts is going to be ridiculously strong. So, yeah. 
playing this one slow, trying to play this one smart for you guys, because I know previous matches or previous videos I've recorded, I, I play terrible, but I, I'm either off or on, and it's because I wake up early in the morning to record for you guys, and sometimes I just hop on, kind of tired out of bed, just play and just try to record, but I've been really trying to dial down when I'm recording now and just play better for you guys, so hopefully I'm playing better for you guys, at least in today's video. But I ended up protecting uh, Blazekin, because trust me guys, I'm actually pretty good when I want to try and actually think things through. Hopefully you guys can see that, but um, there's the protect, and he ends up protecting the movie. So honestly, we just get to keep my, uh, we just get to keep, what's it called? My King Gambit, who I thought they were attacking, but not going to Flare Blitz here. And if I want to, I could just Sucker Punch you. Could go into Rage Powder, but I mean, I don't mind the Sucker Punch. It's fine. So we still have Dragapult in the back end now. Faster than everybody on the field. Dragon Darts can fly. There goes a Rage Powder. No big deal because Flare Blitz... Oh, actually... No, it's going to turn into a 1v1 situation. So I'll tell you what's going to happen right now. Flare Blitz going to KO the Moongus. Recoil is going to KO the Blaziken. Basically, is going to KO King Gambit. And it turns into a 1v1. But I still have it in the bag, right? I should. Dragapult should be faster than Basque Legion. But yeah, there goes the Recoil damage. We get rid of a Moongus. So smart plays on our end just to swap out. Protect at the right time. Waste out these rain turns as well. And there's the wave crash. And honestly, wave crash might KO you. How much recoil damage are you taking here? Do we even need our Dragapult? I think this thing will survive on like low red. Maybe like 1 HP. About 2 or 3. Pretty close. Pretty close. But now I got my full HP. Choice Band Dragapult ready to win this match. Looking to go 3 and out. Only first turn priority move they could have would be Aqua Jet. And I soaked that. So I'm just going to go into Dragon Darts here. And it's going to be game. Thanks for playing. 3-0 perfect record. Gene's thriving out today. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Blaziken in ranked regulation H. This Pokemon was phenomenal. Dominating with speed boost, close combat, flare blitz, and coaching. And we also had Dragapult, who does monstrous amount of damage with the choice band. And every other Pokemon actually did good in today's video. Rillaboom doing Rillaboom things. King Gambit getting after it with Kaltai Cleave, Sucker Punch, and even Low Kick in today's video. Like to buzz Thunderbolt in and follow me. And then Primarina, just a nice solid special attacker in the back end. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.